Joining us tonight for a special interview is LSU professor, Times PKUN contributor, creator of political blog, Something Like the Truth, Mr. Bob Mann. How are you tonight, Mr. I'm great. How are you? Good. Um, okay, so this weekend at the LA Progress Blogger Summit, you mentioned that if you didn't have tenure, you may not feel as comfortable criticizing politics on your blog. Um, how has your position as an LSU professor enabled or hindered your speech? Well, I think in general, people uh, can speak out, and, uh, and most people do, but uh, writing a blog and talking about politics is maybe a bigger step, and so, um, and especially when I have a blog that criticizes the LSU administration and the Board of Supervisors, so it does help that I have tenure because uh, the governor has uh, fired a lot of uh, supervisors and administrators on this campus over the last couple of years, at least through his LSU Board of Supervisors that he's appointed, so it gives me some protection. Following up on that, there's a certain uh, frankness to your writing, and I was wondering, do you ever worry about any type of political or professional fallout from some of the people you harshly criticize? Uh, you know, I, I do uh, sometimes. I, I, I worry about the, the, the impact of what I write. I certainly d don't say what I say lightly, um, and, uh, but I know that, uh, that, if, that if this school, uh, the Manship School, and uh, LSU is uh, true to its word, that that they believe in academic freedom and that freedom of speech is something we value on this campus. Certainly at the Manship School we teach it to our students and if we're not willing to practice it as as faculty members, if we're not willing to model that kind of behavior and and have the courage of our convictions, then uh, we can't very well expect our students to, to have it or to learn from it. So um, I think it's incumbent upon faculty members across the campus to speak out and to, uh, to be vocal on behalf of the issues they care about including the, the LSU budget. Um, are faculty members, are their rights protected federally and by Louisiana law? Sure. Well, the First Amendment protects a lot. Uh, the First Amendment gives, gives us all rights and certainly it, m more rights than, uh, than uh, when it comes to government intervention. The, the, the government can't intervene and stop you from saying something. And uh, the, the standard is pretty high for damages if you do uh, uh, defame or libel someone. There was a there, there, there are more protections for bloggers than there have been. There was a recent uh, federal appeals court ruling out of California just a few days ago that gave bloggers a lot more protection than they had. It was the first time, I think, that a federal appeals court has recognized the right of bloggers and sort of given them the same kind of protection that a journalist would have. And uh, I think that uh, it's moving in that direction where bloggers are going to be considered legitimate journalists with all the legal protections that journalists have enjoyed for a long time. And if the federal government passes, the Congress passes a shield law, a federal shield law, I think a lot of bloggers are going to be covered by that as well. Do you ever feel like, you know, other maybe traditional uh, news sources tend to tread on some issues too lightly? Uh, yeah, I do. And I, I think that, uh, but I think everybody's got a place. I mean, I think that, that a, lot of, uh, a lot of journalists are doing a job that maybe bloggers and columnists uh, don't do or, or and, um, and aren't expected to do. And I think that you know, my, my job as a columnist for the, the Picayune as a blogger is to, is to express my opinion as more of an analyst of the news. I'm not doing a lot of original reporting. I'm interpreting and expressing my opinion. And there's a place for that. Uh, there's another place for journalists who are uh, required to be fair and even-handed and, and cover all sides of the issue or provide as many perspectives as possible. And, and there's a, there's a different standard for that. So uh, I'm very aware of what my role is in this process, just as I think uh, the day-to-day -day journalists covering issues, covering a beat or whatever, are, are fully aware of what the constraints are upon them. Well, thank you, Mr. Mann, for joining us. Uh, when we come back, World Reporter uh, anchor Lindsay Poligo will give us a global view on Internet censorship.